everybody. It's Chopping It Up with Star here. I got my co-host here, Miss Frankie Fingers. What's good, Julie? What's good? Today we have Richard Myers from the Myers P.A. Oh! Ah! Oh! You were doing oh, so good last you week. Started you started. You had it perfect last week. The Myers Firm P.A. people. Oh, yes. there you go. The Myers Firm P.A. Jeez. If you're having technical teeth in your job. Technical teeth. Technical teeth. What do you call it? Technical difficulties. Okay, but we don't want technicalities. You have substantive problems at your job, and you really need help. There you go. And you have no alternative but to maybe sue for damages. I'm the guy. He's the guy. If you're going through a divorce, I'm the guy. He's if the you're guy. in a custody battle, I'm the guy. If you want to get a lawsuit for anything. I'm the guy. Okay. If you if want to stir up some acted, shit so that you can sue somebody. He's, the he's guy. not the guy. But if you need to hire me <laughs> so we can stir shit up so you can hire Richard, <laughs> I'm the girl and he's the guy. Boom. <laughs> there we go. So Today we have some special works. guests. Let's go. We have... Don't get the names yeah, wrong. Go ahead. I'm not going to get the names wrong this time. Ben. I- I've been on the show 28 times ben in a row. Last you got my name at right. Charlie's. <laughs> Is his name really Ben? <laughs> and he told me his name was Ben Dover. Dover. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ben Dover. <laughs> Is that really your name? Uh, it's obviously not my name, but it shows you how. Uh, cool with myself I am and how self-aware I am to go and uh, throw something like that out and be cool with it and talk and about it And I was chilling. I was like, oh, okay. And then I read it. I, as he texted me last night, I'm like, wait a second. Bend over. No. He just hold- No, no. It didn't take you just a second. It took me a little while. Apparently yes. a few hours. I, I really read it through and I'm like, bend over. Over. Wait, how much time did you spend thinking about this? Like I read it a few times, and I was like, "Bend over, bend over." He see, told me his name was Bend Over. He totally freaking. You see what Homer's- subliminal name advertising does for you? Yes. I like. I that. felt for it. Just yes. like Teddy Pender ass down. <laughs> like he just like yeah. <laughs> Teddy Pender. Teddy Pender ass down. No, seriously, it's Teddy, T- You know who T Pain is, right? Pender, okay, yeah. you're not Pender like too white down. for T Pain. No, I'm not too white for T Pain. Oh, okay. No, I saw Lonely, so his, I saw Lonely Island videos. What are, what okay. his, he's a what gangster his cowboy. One of he's his a names gangster cowboy. Is like but where is Bend Over from? Yeah. That's where is Bend Over from? Where's Bend Over from? Austin, Texas, baby. Austin, Texas. Yeehaw. And, he's and how is he in Florida right now? I do love to ride me a cowboy. Wait, how long am I in Florida? Frankie? Why, why are you yes? here? Uh, I am we here, need episode uh, one, Frank. I've been here for about two months. Living in Wait, hotels. You, that's it? You've been here for two months and we just met you? Uh, I was in Fort Myers, then I was oh. in Tallahassee, then I was in Fort Lauderdale, then I've been in Tampa for about two weeks. And, we and he made. leaves on Monday. Wow. I leave on Monday. Shameful. I bet your wife misses you. Uh, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Listen, speaking of that, oh, speaking of that, I oh, got a funny story to share about widows before we start our show. Wow. But we also have a special dark. repeat guest. They have something uh, like an amazing story to share. Like He has an amazing message to share with us. It's Junie Blue Eyes. Ow! Put your mic. Junie. Put your mic. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? He has something special to share with us. I've been, you know, we keep in touch. Everybody that's on the show, we always keep in touch. And he has a very amazing project that he's doing in Tampa Bay. Besides the fact that we just went to his basketball tournament to raise funds for his friend that's quadriplegic. And it was a great turnaround. We had every big shot in there. Everybody that's doing something big in Tampa was there supporting this. And it was awesome to watch you running that show. That was awesome. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Definitely grateful. Definitely grateful. It was called Save a Life Tuesdays, by the way. It's called Save a Life Tuesdays. Yes. And today he's going to be, we're going to give him a chance after we go through the motions today because we have something to, I have a lot of things to talk about today. <laughs> you got them in order? I have them in order. Okay. What are they written down? Are they all in, in my head. head. In my head. <laughs> yes. This should be fun. So, speaking of widows. Speaking of widows. <laughs> speaking Polish of widows. Transitions. It's, it's going to transition really fast. It goes really fast. It's just here. a joke or a statement. No, it's actually something that happened. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but I had to go here. So, Richard. Uh oh. Oh, His brother no. is recently. Oh, oh shit. Oh, dude. It's Jesus shit. And I. I, I ha, you know, I was curious to see who was the new widow, oh and I God, said, "You're not introducing it properly." 
<laughs> Why don't you say how it happened? No, just just briefly. No, my my uh, my sister in law tragically passed away from rest in peace. It was very hard for from her. King, and it was very hard on everybody, yeah. especially his brother, my brother, who was very much in love with his wife, and it was a very emotional funeral. But when I returned from New York, I told Star that I returned from New York from my sister-in-law's funeral. And now you can take the floor, Star. So then I, I'm cutting his hair and I said, let me see a picture of your brother. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Because he's, he's new, because, because he's newly single. That's Come exactly on. what my reaction would have been to be. <laughs> I just wanted to I been like, fucking asshole. That's like Tony Soprano's so there's sister an wanting to cook pussies I'm ziti in the freezer. A widow man would be so delighted. Did to have women like me and Frankie oh in their lives God. at the moment. Yeah. I love this. Okay, so just no, this is think, perfect. Just when you think it can't get any more. Because you know what? If I was married, <laughs> well, guess what? Having threesomes and shit with a fucking no, it's not gonna work. What about you, my man? What you doing? We're not really even talking about what I'm doing. I know I'm here. <laughs> He's not allowed to talk about it. So then, yeah. All right, anyway, I'm continue, kind of Star. I'm drinking so he was like, no, no, no. And now, But it wasn't because I wanted to be with him. I just wanted to see who he was. Okay, and did you end up seeing who he was? Yes. When? When you showed me. When you told me to no, look No, no, no. You looked. I said, listen, I'm not going to show you anything. But if you want to look up my Facebook and find my friends, he's one of my friends. And I did. Right, and what did you find? You were very, you were very handsome when you were little. You were so cute. <laughs> oh, because he had a whole bunch of family pictures from when we Listen, were young. Listen, I got to see Richard growing up, like just scrolling through the pictures. Yeah. Before you did his hair. Before yeah, I way, did his hair. Yeah, right. You see, Richard did a transformation. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know that before me. Richard. What did he have? Long hair? Was he in the no. Allman Brothers? Richard <laughs> had a different look to him when I met him. What was your look? Very Guido. Not really. Yeah, it, it was not even Guido. No. He lost more than like s- like dragon, I, I, I like like dragon t-shirts. Like 60 pounds. He lost sixty pounds, and he got a new look, and he went shopping with who? No, by himself. By himself. Yeah. yeah, and like he How became a new man. Himself? I, had, I you- had to replace my wardrobe. Oh, no, I got I got friends in nice places. He just became a brand new man. So, did you have an idea in your head of what you wanted to be before you went shopping? No, my first thought. My first thought, my first thought was, <laughs> I got to clue him in because the the reason why I got motivated to lose weight goes back to like episode two. Yeah. When we were talking about, it, I had broken up with my ex fiance, and I said, you know what? I just want to lose weight. I want to lose like twenty five pounds, and Star is going to join me in like a yellow Lamborghini, and we're going to go crash my ex ex. Fiance's house. She's gonna wear a fishnet. What is it? And the whole idea of just losing weight just was on that image of me like crashing my ex's house. Then I started like eating healthy. Got it. And I, the weight started coming off. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just keep this going until I get to, um, to my like my weight that I had when I graduated college, which is where I'm at now. And Interesting. So right now you you have lost 25 pounds. No, I know I lost 60, 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Wow. My goal he, was 25. I ended up losing 60. I saw pictures yeah. of me and him when we first met. And now pictures of us, and I'm like, oh my god! But I've known you You're for like the same months, different man. But, right, but but we've been seeing each other Every two day. three times a week. Yeah. So to you, it's been slowly like you don't really yeah, I don't really you don't see notice it. it. Right, you, you don't, don't notice, notice it. it. Right. So what'd you do? Was this like literally uh, two months of you eating avocado it toast, or did you? Uh, no, no, like, seriously. Was it that, something more dramatic? That, I don't want to make this a diet show, but all <laughs> no, I did was I said is I just wanted to record or write down everything that I ate and its calorie content. And I started modifying my eating habits based on what I was writing down. We were just talking about, you know, Serge, how you had to write down your calendar and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And how it forced you to be disciplined. Same thing with food. You know, so I just started eating better. And then I'm like, you know, I feel a little better. I've got a little bit more energy, so I'm going to go walk more. You know, I'm going to – you know, this, this shit that you hear in public service announcements, like park far away in the supermarket and take the longer walk. I started doing all of that shit. So counting steps and shit like that. So now that you look better, do you find that you take less shit from people in bars? Um, I like always it, had the same level of cockiness. I've never lost. I've been, like it, it doesn't. He's still Richard and yeah, it doesn't change me as a person. I've always had the level of of, of being 
confident, you know. I guess it comes with being a lawyer and shit, but I don't know. But I, uh, but yeah, I do feel a little bit just better. I, like a, a little. I guess there is a little bit more confidence. But, I mean, he's a total change not, man. He's a total change man. It, 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 I mean, I don't need to like brag here. Oh, but like you know, I sat you in my chair, I gave you a brand new look, and after that, everything just started unraveling. Thank Unraveling you. is not Jesus. Like he just started just becoming something else, and like I was like, oh my god. He was like, yo, I'm gonna go walk at the at the at the river walk. Yeah. Every Saturday morning, I'm like, I can't go with you because I'm working. But like he would not yeah. stop. I know. Well, once you start losing the weight, you get more energy. It's just the way it happens. But then there's another person that had a transformation too. Yes, let's talk about that. Frankie. Frankie <laughs> goes. Uh, Frankie. <laughs> He's turning the microphone. Welcome to the show, Frankie. <laughs> Hi. Frankie had a transformation. When She's like totally changed. I don't know what she's talking about. Why don't you tell us what's written on Physically. your hand? She's totally changed. <laughs> I'm a changed Fra- Fra- person. Frankie, can you then? show the camera what's on your hand? No. Can you explain it for well, us? Absolutely Frankie, not. <laughs> Frankie, how much weight have you lost? I've lost about 60 pounds. 60 pounds. When I met her, she was 60 pounds plus. Thank you, Star. And now she's 60 <laughs> pounds less. Like she is like... Yep. A total different person. So, guys out there, if you want to buy her uh, clothes or lingerie, what's your size? <laughs> I bought my own. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Well, well you can't Frankie. send all your money Me to. And Frankie are very much alike cash in app a lot of ways. At Frankie Fingers. Yeah. Boom. Remember, cash app at Frankie Fingers. And if you can't get. Yeah, what do they say on Tinder? Send a dollar and here. see what happens, guys. <laughs> there you go. I love it. So, you know. I thought it was 50 cents. All right, whatever. Me and Frankie are very similar. No, in a that's lot to of save ways. the wheels. Like, when I met Frankie. Frankie was very introverted. When? Look, this. we've seen it all. And all of us I have met, seen it here. When I Episode met Frankie, one, you, you were like have pacing seen it. to the wall. It is, you yes. literally, literally have seen it when all. When I met Frankie, she was very introverted. She was not the one to talk to at you. all. At all. She was in her hole, in her space. And I don't then like she anybody. Was like, and it was interesting because she was a barber, but she was not the barber that talked to people. She was just in her hole. Hold on. No, 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 no. no. You talked to your yes, customers. Yes, but you talk- But on me. the show, on the show, you were very reserved. I talk. Yeah, I talked to my clients. But not like you talk to them now. Okay, guys. Do you not know? Yes, I do. Listen, no, I listen, doubt it. Listen, listen, yeah. I doubt tell it. you what? I charge $250 an hour for mediations. Go. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's work anyways, that out. Right? He charges Frankie the same amount introvert. to respond to an email as well. When right? I first met Frankie, <laughs> so be careful. Fifty dollars for email. She was not going to be my friend. She made it known. I'm still uh. You're still debating she's still the issue. <laughs> Jury's still out on that one. Jury's still. She's out. a liar because she sleeps naked in my bed with me. Oh my god! You're not. Well, not in a friendly way. Apparently, this is not what we talked. But anyways, <laughs> this is exactly what we. This fucking is exactly about. what she said. Let's not talk about. Yeah. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was just introverted. Glad we took notes. And one day, I, I walk in there, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to have my own show in Tampa. And, like, we started talking. And I, and I just looked at her and I said, you want to be my co-host? And she was like, yeah. No, I'm saying the right Fuck yeah. Hold on. How did it go? No, it we probably started out with, <laughs> how did it go? No, yes, I think we had established you were going to be my co-host before. No. Was it after Orlando? It was, it, was in, it was in Orlando while I was getting ready to go out. When we were getting ready to go to Mango's. You were like, you know, I'm going to have my own show, blah, blah, blah. I think you're funny. You should be on the show. And, and I was bam. like, and I was like, I've always wanted to do radio. And then we became besties. One significantly, <laughs> tragically drunken night. Oh, man. I'm never going to forget it. It was all it took. It was crazy. We'll talk about it on another show. But I'm just saying. They call like, that a typical Tuesday. <laughs> she started coming to the show in her first show. It was not like. You guys have seen her transition into Taco her name, Frankie Fingers. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? I've always been Frankie Fingers, by but the way. But she's open now. She's free from that. And the thing that me and <laughs> her have in common is Wait, this. how'd you get that name? Did your dad walk out of the TP and that's the first thing you saw or what? <laughs> what me and her have in common is this. Me and Frankie were raised under a very strict religion. Mm. Yeah, we were religiously <laughs> abused as, chi- as, as children. So you both speak in tongues, and you're able to speak each other's language. We don't do that. Yes, but me and her well, were like it we does were, involve tongues, though. We were very. It was very strict. <laughs> Whatever you do or say, you're going to hell. Everything was hell, 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 and it was very abusive. And it does. You do get punished verbally and physically and mentally abused during like this, you know, and like. 
as an adult like me, I was able to break through. And then I, Frankie, when I met her, she has had her <laughs> breakthrough too. At what age? What, five weeks ago, six weeks ago? Oh, that's a serious question. What? Jokes. When do you think your breakthrough was? For what? From that. Uh, I mean, from being reserved. When I turned 18? I came from an uber-religious family as well, and that's kind of a big struggle with everybody, I think, who yeah. that environment to go and break out of it and so, uh, go and do your own thing. Yeah, yeah and like, I turned 18 and I left the house. It's a struggle for everybody. So 18. No. Stop tindering while you're on. I'm not tindering. Are you tindering? No, of course Here, not. I'm Are you tindering? Too. All right. Let's match. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tendering. Yeah, let's well, match. Here. That's not me. That's not you. That's uh, obviously not me. No, 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 no that's Erica. <laughs> no, that's Hannah. <laughs> and this is Becky. <laughs> it's so funny because we match with everybody that comes oh on the show. I'm going to keep swapping until I get a Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Frankie has gone through a transition, and then, you know, she started to be her. How and, and, her? Because she finally did. Alfie? She took her step. I swear to fucking God. No, I, Alfie, Alfie, I get his Alfie, question. He's Alfie, saying basically, Alfie, is that Alfie, her or is that a response to somebody else? This is useful that's for you. That's what he's saying. This and is I, useful and that's for you. A valid wait, question. wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm just going to speak for Alfie just for half a second because I am an advocate, right? Okay, yeah. advocate. Okay. So Alfie respects and understands and enjoys the old Frankie. The old. Because it's not that it's he has comfortable a, uh, it's for not him. That he, not, it's not that he doesn't appreciate the new Frankie either. But, you know, it's nice to know that Frankie can be both. We need to see a little bit more of the, uh, the uh, original Frankie that made us so enamored with her in the first place. Well, she's still that Frankie. Look at her giving... I, just get, I got the look like, fuck that. She says, I'm never going Frankie, back there. The thing the I just thing want is, you to be my little schoolgirl. Frankie's who she is, and she doesn't have to explain to herself anybody. Yeah. She's a successful woman. I know. Regardless of what you do not know about Frankie, is <laughs> shut the fuck up right now. Who the velociraptor? Frankie <laughs> is an independent woman that does not need anyone in her life. She worked really hard for it. There was a moment of time because of what, the way she grew up, she had to make people... Cause see, when we when we, when you when you are abused in this way, you felt like you're never enough, and there's you're people good. that take advantage of you, and then you're over here helping people all the time because you you are enough and you are good and you are you know you you just do these things because Wait. of the way this abuse the abuse created something in you to act this way. Okay. Okay. But she has broken through that. Oh, okay. And she's a different Frankie now. Broken Do you agree with all this assessment? Because I agree with this very general assessment of my life. This yes. very general assessment. And I can say that because I did it too. You know what I mean? <laughs> I chose to be me. a very political answer. I chose to be me. The moment I cho- chose to be me. If I was listening, I'd agree with it. I started doing, yes, I do fetish modeling for fine arts. And I do it for, for the photographic museum arts. In fucking Tampa. I work with high-end um, photographers. And my pictures are sold for a lot of fucking money. Not like $10. I'm $800 and up. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I enjoy doing that. Would you be okay if it was less than $800? She wouldn't be able to handle that. Because, <laughs> I mean, because Ben and I, I are going to pitch it. In. Ben and I are going to pitch it. It's not a nude. It's an artistic form that I deliver. I it's me. It's my soul into these pictures. Yes. Yes, I wear sexy things, but I am a Although sexy I saw more I than like... your soul in those pictures. No, you didn't see more than my soul. The camel soul. <laughs> you wish. You know what I mean? I do a lot of things that are taboo. Bam! That may not be understood by people. But I have them. It's understood by me. Like it's What's the most, I know. What's the most misunderstood you? thing you've you felt I've about? done complete nude. But I think people understand that, though. What's yeah. the most misunderstood? I think just the moment that I did, I knew nude was like a misunderstood. Hmm. Because there's two forms. There's porn and there's fine arts. I chose the fine arts avenue. Got it. So, people, right, so, so, if, so people if, don't jack off the fine arts. Yeah, I was about to say. What if, <laughs> no. <laughs> so. don't, no, don't get it twisted. We jack just, off to everything. Listen, it's just more exotic to be it fine arts. 
It was. It, if it you saw porn. the pictures, actually, yeah, give bro, me a serious I, catalog. Hey, bro, pump up the brakes. I don't jack off to porn. I jack off to fine art. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. fine art. Like, all right. I'm not 18 anymore. I got anymore. the fucking <laughs> class. All it's right. It's a little bit more. It's just he, he does it with his pinky out. Like I he's am drinking okay. tea. <laughs> I am okay. Yeah, what do you think? I have caviar with that Bellinis as well. <laughs> it's about being okay with being in your own skin. Like, I am proud of me. Regardless of whatever, because, you know, I go into my moments that I get hired for a shoot and then I'll, like, lean for that. And then I just don't give a fuck and I'll just chill and I'll still do a shoot and I'll be okay with it because I'm comfortable with me. I totally understand that. Um, I'd say, I would say I have an honest question. This yes. isn't like a, uh, what is the difference between fine art and porn? Porn is porn. That, 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 that is erotic. Fine you know art I mean? is more erotic. A professional Penetration is the difference. So, so is it literally the quality of the photographer? Is it like the uh, <laughs> filter you put on the uh, no, lens? No, it's, it's penetration. It's penetration, too. One. And okay, so, so, fine art is, so fine art is softcore porn. It's Facts. Di- no, it's it's HBO. Fine so art. stalkings on. I'm going to tell you what's the difference between Red fine art. Red Shoe Diaries. Red Shoe Diaries. 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 The difference between <laughs> Cinemax and HBO, right? Facts. Boys. Listen to me. What? No, go ahead. The difference oh, between fine arts is when you're shooting. And it's capture, in black and white. They capture a feeling and emotion. And they put pearls on you. It's different. They capture a, a like an emotion into the picture. Okay, so 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 question is it um, is it the style or is it the uh, photographer's intent? So it's basically, the, the, so the, so the um, artist, being is the question. photographer, right? So is it what he thinks and what he's trying to do, or is it what he actually accomplishes? Because Jose. say, for instance, I have a guy Jose. who's a photographer who sucks at fine art. He's basically See, shooting do, porn to my intent, but because his vision sucks, but when, he's trying to shoot fine no, art. No, no, so no, is it his my, intent? My nudes, it was in um, it was in levels so as we're shooting we're doing different type of things so i did like i did do um do a shout out to the artist uh jose gomez boom you're gonna be in a show really really soon really really soon because i'm gonna be working with him again really soon i'm actually working with another artist and we're gonna do a collaboration it's gonna be awesome but so we did things like my head was like um, wrapped like in a blanket, like a black blanket, but then I was nude. And then he um, walked me through it. He said, you're looking for something and you're going to find it. And you're going through that motion, like you're, you're thinking about, he, you know, your your life at the moment and you're actually playing this out while you're taking pictures. And he captures the emotion of that moment that you're looking for that Whatever it was. If you saw the photographs that she's describing, you would you would notice the difference between what you're trying to describe, like whether it's pornographic. Now, to the to the uh, to the rec- the viewer, no, you're the naked. consumer, the consumer you're of naked. that you're media. Your, you're at your most vulnerable state. But then, when he described me, he he described me as like I had a, a very small vulnerability, but then I had an empowerment. Like I was really proud. Because you know you have, why not be proud of who you are? Got it. I think I get it. And I think um, maybe what I would say to answer my own question, frankly, would be <laughs> that um, a um, the viewer would be looking to kind of try and understand what you were trying to portray. Yes, which is uh, not necessarily what happens in porn. In a porn, it's like. We're fucking. It's, everyone here has looked at porn. It's like I am trying to fucking get off, and I'm trying to find what I want out of this thing, as opposed to fine art, where I'm trying to go and understand what it is exactly. That and you're and it's here. the emotion you know? of the like, what is the person feeling at the moment? It's an emotion. It's it's everything. Like there's people that can identify with that moment when that was shot, and they're like, I was there one time, and I was not looking like her, but I felt that. What she was feeling at the moment. You got know it. what I'm saying? I totally get it. Um, I got it. You're trying to build rapport with people who look at your photos. I mean, I'm trying to connect with people. That's what we're. I mean, you're trying to have a personal connection with everybody. Who I have photos, personal which connection with people. Is not something I think that every uh, every porn star who goes out there and does something does. <laughs> I know? love connection. No, she's not just the ordinary porn star. I'm not the ordinary porn star. I just don't talk in porn voices all the time, just to be a porn star. Here we go. But I have <laughs> connections with people. You know why? Because at the end of the day, our bodies is just that, but our souls is just a different yeah. thing. Like, you can read souls through pictures. Mm. Mm. You know? 
<clears throat> no. There is emotion. No, if, if, if you're a very good photographer and artist at it, you can bring forth a mood or an emotion from the picture. Yes. Even if you're nude, that conveys as a priority the emotion rather than the purian interest of the nudity. Yeah. There were certain things that I did for him that were different. Right? Mm -hmm. One was, yes, I had like a cape, like I had my head covered. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to find my way. And when that's what I felt when he did that. Everybody feels different things when they have that. Cool. Every model feels different things. But when I was guided to do it, that was it. Like, I was trying to refine myself. Interesting. And then there was other things that, you know, I was tied up in yarn. My whole body was tied up in yarn. And I had to, like, break through the yarn. I took the yarn as, like, Everything in my life that was tying me up or clinging to me that I had to, like, break through so I can be who I am. So when we, when I was ripping the yarn to get free from that, he was taking every picture of it, and it was real at the moment. Like, that's what was happening. In my mind, I was breaking free from every fucking thing that ever attached to me in my life to be here. Where I am now today, which is, I'm, I'm very blessed where I am today, you know? I can talk about it. I can guide people through my experiences because I broke through it. And when that happened, I broke through it. And he was able to capture the moment because I was able to put myself at that time and I when I was breaking through it, and he captured it. And it was also another great moment. <laughs> Then he did another one that it was like, like, like a veil. Like it was like veil, and that was another one. You know, we just did so many shoots. It was not. Yes, it's sexy. It is sexy, but women are sexy. You know what I mean? We have our sex appeal, and it was brought to the table. But. Your character, everything that forms you as a person is brought into those pictures as well. It is your everything. I, I actually like that a lot. Um, I was thinking about this the other day. So um, any human being you go and have sex with, um, say, for instance, say you go and have sex with somebody who maybe um, doesn't, isn't very confident or doesn't go and uh, put on a ton of makeup or whatever. But mm. uh, whenever you go and have sex with a woman – there was always this like sexy character that comes out, you know, when the lights are dimmed and when you're in the throes of passion that everybody is sexy. Like every single person in this room and every person on this planet, frankly, has this like sexy thing whenever they like let go and are in the throes of passion that is like cool. It is like an uh, like an like an unveiling that happens all that happens whenever you're in the throes of passion that's beautiful. And it's cool if a photographer can go and capture that because everybody has this from the ugliest person on the planet to the most attractive. They all have this sexy thing that whenever you the lights are off and you're naked and you're like completely giving yourselves to each other, it is fucking it's hot. Called. You know what, and everybody you know has that. And if a photographer can capture that. You want to know what it's called? What's that? It's called euphoria. That's what I'm wearing tonight. Can you say throws of passion again? Throws of passion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Someone's, melting. you. Someone's melting over there. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> You're going to need a new chair over here. <laughs> oh, no, no, shut up. Do I hear macaroni? So I what's a girl macaroni? like you doing in a place like this? Do I hear this? macaroni? Oh, well, yeah, you got macaroni going. On. Macaroni's <laughs> being made over there. That's cool, though. In fact, uh, you know what? I would recommend every woman out there go and get a fine art um, Jose pictorial Gomez. and, uh, and yeah. have somebody at least capture you at your sexiest moment Jose because everybody Gomez. fucking has that. I mean, you know? Jose Gomez is very – I admire his work, not just because he's in the Museum of Photographic Arts and he does big things, but what I admire him the most of, and, and I told him in the, sh in the show when he came on, was that – Every person that's popping in Tampa, he's had a shoot with. He has a time capsule of their oh, moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
of the moment <laughs> of their moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, they have their moment. He has the moment of vulnerability, and then he has the moment of his their most powerful moment. And then he has a moment like up there in between. How, uh, what's the difference between those two things? Like, uh, how would he describe those between your most vulnerable and your most powerful moment? Well, I already know which ones were mine because I we're not releasing them yet. But this will be a calendar for this show that'll be released we're, to the we're first one hundred. He's going to come back to the show. <laughs> My pictures are a little different than a lot of people because of the work we're doing, and I'm also an ink collector. So every time I add more ink, I shoot nude because I have a timeline. Like I have something going on with other people and artists and stuff that we're going to be doing together. But, um, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. Just watch the game while we're having a serious conversation. I'm with you. I'm listening. Completely. My eyes can do something <laughs> different than my ears. One. I just met you yesterday. Hand hug. There you go. Mm. We just hand hugged on the show. Okay. In front of everybody. Yes. How you feel about that, know. Richard? Uh, someone else hand hugged you. Oh. Very sad. It's okay. She likes after other, pe- all she likes other week, people to watch. After all week coming on to me, I'm a little upset. <laughs> Ouch. He lied. But yeah, you know, that was like a breakthrough. When I did that, a lot of women were like, oh my God, you just did that? And I said, yeah. Because everybody's so afraid to just be naked. I did this um, sweat lodge, and it's in Ocala. They do, like, a, a spiritual, um, it's like a spiritual. Um, retreat? It's not like a retreat. Well, it's kind of like a retreat, but it's like. Um, like a, it's a retreat. It's like a retreat. So everybody goes out there, and um, so yeah, it's called a retreat. I forgot what it's called, but, like, they have all these little Things and like there's like tarot readings. So you were naked with a bunch of hippies in a like, tent, like huh? a seminar. Yeah. <laughs> and there was I a big did, fire, probably. I you guys were all sweat sweating. Lodge <laughs> and it was like everybody was just like you go in there and you just decide to be naked. Okay. Yeah. And nobody gives a fuck. So when are we all going to Caliente? Okay. <laughs> okay. You think nobody gives a fuck? The nah. guys did. No. The guys were like, "This is the coolest place." Ever. Everybody's there. This is why I came to this street. retreat. Oh. Let's get him on the air. Yeah, brother. Y'all do y'all thing. Uh, <clears throat> Rich. You leaving? Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, Jesus, man. Sorry. Next time. Break fingers. Oh. Sorry, my love. Brother, sure. let me know. Okay, well, what's going on? It's hot. It's hot. Damn. Let's do one last promotion for him, though, on the way out. You good. Oh, man. We'll blast him. Y'all good. All right, we'll blast you, man. You know what it is. You know the info on it. Y'all All right, brother. I love my love. The coolest socks in the building just left. Yeah. The room. Facts. I don't even wear socks. No, I do wear socks. You don't wear socks? Yeah. I do, I do. How do you not wear socks? I wear fucking socks. I will take my shoes off right now. I don't know why I fucking said that, <laughs> No, okay? watch you do that. Show- I, 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 we have got some foot fetish fans. So I'll watch it on Facebook right. right now. They would, though. They would, <laughs> they would definitely tune in. They would definitely tune that in. That is horrible. She just said she doesn't wear socks. I wear socks. I have socks on right now. I don't know why. I said Bless you. Do you sell them? I could. Do you sell I'm them telling her. I actually, hey, guys, if you would like to buy her used socks. I, yeah. Cash app her. Yeah, Frankie yeah, Fingers. Yeah. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate y'all. I, um, I have a, uh Instagram page for my feet, actually. Do you wow. really? What is it called? You're kidding. Okay, yeah. so so just for a, like full disclosure, I did not know that, but I just looked at her. I saw into her soul, like just what we were talking about before, and I knew that. Did you? <laughs> no, the fuck you didn't. Why do you think I asked you to take your socks off right now? Uh, no, let's didn't. let's turn the cameras on the two of them right now. Let's just focus. <laughs> They're already there. Um, yeah, I, I bet I, those I, dogs are barking. Let's go. <laughs> we're just gonna watch the show unfold. We don't have to say any words anymore. <laughs> Wow. No, I, I do. What's I going have, on over there? I, have, uh, I think I'm surprised I she has not stared this for me. I'm starting to feel the heat now. Yeah, are you? What's going on? Woo. Yeah. How do you know we do, both don't have foot fetishes right now? Do you have foot fetishes right no. now? No. Not a do fan. I do not have a foot fetish. I actually fetish. do. Do you? I don't. I hate feet. We can talk about it later. Right? And yeah. he doesn't eat ass. I was ass. never a fan of feet. He does not eat ass. Who doesn't? 
He does not. Are we serious? Like you, you said, a, don't go here. Is that like and a, this uh, is exactly is like where a you're Puritan, taking like, everything that you did not want us to the do? The Myers Firm PA wait, is was that here. Your, to wait, was that your you. one rule? You don't talk about not eating. No, ass? no, no. This was the rules that were installed in the chat about three days ago. What eating ass? No, just talking about. No, what we don't do, what we do as people, we're not talking about, but we can talk about what we don't do and do. <laughs> well, God, You're so crazy. Yeah, totally, totally. Hey, but you know what? Tennessee's up 14 to 6. Oh, at least I we got one yesterday. intellectual in the room Listen, over here who's he keeping told everybody me yesterday, honest right now. Yesterday we were sitting down at the bar, right? And he told me yesterday, and he goes, they're swingers. And I said, how do you know? And he goes, because they're wearing pineapples. Tell us about that. Um... That is something I read online. Apparently, I had no idea, but uh, in Tampa, uh, pineapples are a symbol for swingers. I had no oh, idea. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there you go, man. Um, I don't think you have any on your shirt, but uh, no, but I'm you going can Hawaii. fix that real yes. quick. <laughs> I actually know a girl that has a pineapple tattooed on her wrist. That's probably well, there you, it. There you go. Um, I mean, the entire swing. Wait, wait, was it, was it that corpse of a woman symbols. we saw at the... Uh, like, there's like hot wife anklets and shit. Is it by You'll demographic? See. What do you mean? No. Like, is it different by every state or where you go? Like, um, no, I think it's. Um, look, there's. <laughs> no, no, no. Th- there's a right intently. Well, 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 no. Every I'm a every time every, every right city now. in the you country. You put her phone down for this conversation. I well, actually no. just finished sending a text message. No, so she I finished was done swiping right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you swipe right on me? I still haven't found you. She you haven't found me yet. She seems no, a little bit mesmerized. I know there's a lot of dudes out there. I know that's why Tinder is like such a waste. Yeah, of time. no, it's Tinder's like, like eight. It's like honestly, I do better in person than I do on Tinder because yeah. like I can all tell those you, all those it's, fuckheads. It's, out it's the there, voice. All those fuckheads out there. Yeah, like, if you don't have you a can't get laid. If you in don't person, have a shirtless picture, you're not you're not getting in. I'm a cool guy. I do better. I told you about this. They're not swiping right unless you guys are much more better. All these fuckheads out there. Facts. Yeah. If you don't have a shirtless yeah. picture or a picture with a fish, you're not you're not getting that, I, that I, right. I, I've gotten neither. You're getting left. You're getting the left swipe. Is that it? I, I, I don't know. What what I've like got a picture no, of a fish man. out there somewhere. Man. I don't. Well, no. I, I lived in Alaska for two years. I am a barber, and I'm going to tell you something. Based on my research, As I a talk to men <laughs> all the time, and I That's ask how you him. A sentence. I, I, I ask him about you know their dating life, and they tell me straight up. Girls just swipe to swipe. They talk to you for like two seconds, and they're insecure. So when it's time to like meet them, they're like on the bush because probably Woo. they're catfishing. Truer words have no, never no, been spoken. No, 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 Dude, I, swipe actually, to fuck. Actually, I, I would say that um, women, from what I can tell on there, um, first off, there's more guys than women. Yeah, of there's course. a ton of dudes, and the dudes are actually pretty aggressive. So y'all yes. on Tinder get messaged. To the yeah. nines, like it's y'all true. are getting inundated, and so as a result, you go and like look at your inbox, right? And you just have like little red dots next to each one of unread messages, and you like just lose track of it. Yeah, we don't, you we just don't. Have that don't so happen to many us. fucking dudes that are texting you that you just like lose track of the good ones, and so it's like from a guy perspective, it's like half the time. You know what I do? I wait for a woman to message me. Because otherwise, I'll get lost in the mix. So at least if she wants to hang with me, yeah. she's like coming. I disagree. Me. Otherwise, I get lost. I disagree. Dis- I disagree. Uh, I disagree. I don't have no, no, that I nails it. That yeah. nails it. I disagree. It. I mean, yes, I go and message women, but you know what? Half the time, though, it's like I'll I'll message and you'll get a Nobody's response a, four days later. It's the nah, same. There's fam. something more she's substantive like about shit. being chosen over the masses. I think and laying low and being subtle about it, and then you know who's choosing you. Yeah, because I just want to have. That's why I like Bumble. I'm pretty good looking. Bumble actually is higher quality yeah. women all and, around. Yeah, higher quality. And way higher quality. That's yeah. what I think about ha- when I do Bumble. But, but you, really but you do, do get a lot more uh, soulmate shit. Yeah. Uh, like oh, people well, because that that goes back to the But the thing is, we the Tinder about. and the Bumble, all those things, they're all, the chicks are looking for, I want a boyfriend, I want to do this. Dudes are like, I want to smash. Dudes we are, don't read shit. We're like, I'm not going to lie to you. I've had a lot of dudes no, be like, this is how it is. Tinder on a guy. A a guy's like this. Me too. This, I think like, they're. Okay. This, I is think, how guys do this is how guys do Tinder. No bullshit. This is how guys do Tinder. Listen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Surge. 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 Can I do this? Surge. Surge. This, is, this wait, is, wait, is how wait, we wait, do wait, it. That's a lie. Listen to Surge. This is how we do. I'll smash. I'll smash. I'll smash. Eh, maybe. That's not true. Okay, no. No, Actually, it's true. it is. Actually, it is. That is exactly how it is. It is. This is this is how girls do. And then there are some guys who are probably who go and say they're looking for a relationship, but you know what? But they're not. 
But they, they will they will they but, will lower their no, standards. No, 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 no. Do you want they are? They are wimps. Yeah. A guy who goes and says, "Okay, wimps? here's the okay, no, they're pussies." So here's the okay. deal. I've got like sixteen hours a day where I'm not sleeping, or I'm not happy with what I'm doing in those sixteen hours, and I want some faceless void to come and spend those with me, and I want to be monogamous with that. Okay, if that is like literally your fucking take on shit, yeah. then you are a fucking beta pussy, and nobody wants to hang out with you anyway. If you because here's the deal. The, the only, everybody always asks on these apps, what are you looking for? Yeah, you know what the time. only real answer to that is? Pussy. Um, I am happy with what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> exactly. happy with who I am as a person. I'm happy with take what I do look, every day. But you know what? Am, if somebody comes and makes me change my priorities, great. If not, I am totally happy. Yeah. But somebody who comes along and literally says, I... Am not happy with how I am spending those sixteen hours of free time every day. I am incomplete. I, li- I literally hang out Facts. on my own. But I need somebody yeah. else. Then you are. You need to go and yeah. work on something. That's yes. about, that's insecurity. That's, that's clinginess. That's 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 neediness. All that I'm shit. That is a you, fucking repulsive. I am that's sorry right. to tell you. Yes, you are. Let men, me tell you how. But let me tell listen. you something. Yes. There is so many men that try so hard to lock women in yeah, the absolutely. same way. It's not just the girls. So? Okay, so to lock I've only seen in. I've only seen what women do. Men this do is it what too. women do. Men oh, okay. Do it too. I, He's got I, a job. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, he's got fish. Okay, they will go through the whole profile, First, read every last thing that you say. But here's the deal. The dude's like, no, I you look like, good. You don't look yeah. good. Okay, That's okay, it. Okay, okay, but here's the one distinction I would make. I feel like um, women go through phases. Men, on the other hand, are always in the same phase. Yeah. Like, we will smash all the time. Um, if somebody makes us change our priorities, great. Yeah. Women, on the other right, hand, that's... women go through phases, right? You have a relationship phase. You have a phase where, like, I'm too good for this. I don't yeah. need hookups. But then all of a sudden, you have a breakup or something. And all and of a sudden, you just go to hook up with everything. Slut phase. Yeah. I am, like, I'm within my rights. Dudes are all in my rights to go and be a slut for, like, stop three pointing. weeks. Stop After pointing. I break up. Stop and, pointing. And that's it. Or, uh, no, but you're right. right. I'm on vacation. I am totally within my rights to be a slut. Yeah. That is okay. Whereas a guy is, like, I, I do this all the time. Yeah, bro. this is like, what we do. A woman <laughs> this is what just we goes do. through phases. It's like, oh, what me. phase well, do I catch me. this woman in? But, but this is, is because she this is because she in phase? society <laughs> we we. As a society, you we nailed want to that make shit. women but virtuous. What about, that shit. But you're saying about women, but what about there's women that say, you know what? I don't need anybody. Because they're in that phase. That's if the main thing. I need sex, I'll just have sex, and I don't need What women are you talking about, about, huh? What, what women are you, talking, are you about? talking about? I'm just saying. You guys woman, what, woman, what woman are you thinking of when you say that? I'm not thinking about any woman. No, but that's a phase. Like, I'm just saying, like, maybe some people don't need anyone. Maybe some people are okay with be- living alone. Absolutely. And having good days. What did I tell you? Hey, what did I tell you? I'm not a relationship. I said, own what you are. Huh? We were just talking about this. what he's basically Listen, saying. I'm very be happy with who you are. Hey, I'm yeah. cool with being polygamous. Let's all live, four of us, like two couples in a house by a mansion, live large. I'm good with that. I'm not a jealous person like that. Pick your other three right now. Go. My three? I don't have three. <laughs> manslaughter. <laughs> manslaughter. A manslaughter actually man. hits me up every day. Yeah, most people, can't, most people can't do that. Well, that's no. because he's, see, and that's why you don't, that's why you're not that's interested. That's why I'm not interested. Because he's he hitting me. you up every day. But then somebody else loves me too. That's how like, women whatever. are. No. See, but you're trying what, to, honestly, no. You that's know what I told you're him? You're trying to put him this in is, satellite this status. Is, that's uh, why. He's, so sa- he's not even satellite. He's not satellite. I told him, what's my favorite color? And he didn't answer. And I said, bye, bitch. And I never saw him again. Wait. Wait. What are you talking about? Oh, we have to introduce him to the concept of satellite. Rules. Tell her about satellite. Tell him about satellite. We don't have satellites. I have rules. You gotta know what her favorite if you're going to tell me you love me, you need to know what my favorite fucking color is. Or I'm not fucking with you ever again. Don't use the L word for your desperate. Okay, everybody makes up their own rules. Make sense. Uh, rule number one. Rules don't make any sense. I have up. rules. If you don't know stuff about me. Do you think Aladdin knew Jasmine's favorite color? No. Mm-hmm. No, of course not. I'm never going to tell him. I think it was blue, though. You have to pick. I think it's black because it's that's what I've been wearing every, ever since I met you. I always wear black. Yeah. Like, like, What's not your favorite color? Huh? Not your favorite color. Bingo. What's pink? there besides pink. black? Pink. Black and pink. But there's such a girl color, though. You can't say pink. But this is not the pink that I like. You need a you need a color with more substance. Yeah. I like hot pink. Deep. No, no I, th- I think pink's awesome. I think it's more powerful on a guy than a woman. But yeah. 
I like black and it hot is. pink. Those are my favorite colors. Well said. Black and hot pink. If you're a dude wearing pink, you're the strongest motherfucker. Dude, so in the much. So check it out. Listen, so uh, I like guys I with black in, ties. That's my favorite. Spain. I used to live in Spain. And dude, I was like, where the fuck? You've been all over the place. Yeah, so, he so, said Alaska, yeah, Spain. Yeah, yeah, so check it out. I uh, lived in Spain. I worked at a prep school, and I was a first grade teacher's assistant, right? It was an excuse to go to Spain. Whatever. How anyway, old are you? I'm 37. Jesus. Anyway, so uh, one day on the playground, there was this guy named Jean Walberto, a little Italian kid who like dressed like a fop, right? His parents Say his name again. Jean was... Walberto. And he was wearing a pink polo, and all the kids on the playground were making fun of this kid. And so he runs up to me, and he's like, Mr. Sparks, they're making fun of me. I'm for, for, for my shirt. And so, like, being like the, the bullies they are, all the kids, like, yeah, followed course. him to go and see what he said and, like, what was said. What was I going to do about it? And so, uh, I was kind of on the spot with, like, 30 little first grade boys all around me. And so, I got down on one knee. I grabbed Jean Gualberto by the shoulder and I said, Here's the deal, buddy. Only real man can handle pink. You and I are the only guys on this playground that can handle pink. These guys, I need that they can't handle pink. Give it to me right here. No, that's fine. So the next day, I went around. So every morning, I started out the day when they did a handwriting exercise, and whenever they got done and they did it efficiently, they got to pick a color to have a star put on the top of their paper before they put it in the little box. And you always the next pink. day, everybody every wants pink. Cool kid in the first grade, yeah. got a wanted a pink star yeah. on top of his thing, and the rest of the whole fucking year, hmm? every kid at this prep school came up to me and let me know whenever he was wearing a pink shirt. All you get it. You understand. You understand. I like this guy. I like this guy. He understands. Oh, you I got so you got the search you... stamp of approval. You got the search stamp of approval. I like this wow. guy. Wow. You have officially He's anti establishment. Had the search he understands. stamp of approval. Thanks. It's a pink star. The search yeah, stamp it's a of pink approval star. is a pink star. I'm I yo, I think <laughs> we should make shirts with that. Search stamp of approval, pink star. There you go, buddy. I'm with it. <laughs> My dude, right. I like Can this we move guy. On to full no, because he yet? sees beyond the bullshit. Yes, we need to know more about him. I'm cause... just mired in bullshit. <laughs> Listen, well, you're an attorney, dude. You Guess what? That. That's all I do is sometimes deal with you try to do the right, the right thing, and people are not with it. But we're just with so. It. Where were you born? Austin. Uh, I was born in Tyler, Texas. Okay, and then when did you? Okay, so you went from Texas to Spain. I uh, went from Texas, went to college in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay. And then from there, I went to uh, Spain for a year. Wait, are you, guys what was your your, major? are you guys on your first date now? Yeah, What's going on? yeah this is what totally first date right now. Classics. <laughs> I study classical literature. Literature. And then how long did you stay my, there before you went to Alaska? Or did you go somewhere else before Alaska? Um, I, I moved at least once a year um, until 2014 when I went to Alaska. So how many different places have you been I mean, I've lived in uh, Wisconsin, Virginia, D.C., Spain, New Mexico, okay. Texas, Why? Virginia, um, New Jersey. Because he gets bored quick. Ohio. Ohio. Um, Where in Ohio? Uh, Columbus. Sounds like somebody okay. I know. The Ohio State University. Yeah, I lived on High Street, right across the street. Next, yeah. to, next to the Euro shop, buddy. Yeah. But why did this all happen? Why did you move every year? Because I was a political consultant. Okay. He used to jump around from campaign to campaign. So you don't do you co now? Okay, this is the important question. Do you this is, co-sign? This is, this is part do of you this co-sign first the two-party system? Oh uh, Lord! What, 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 no. no, I'm saying no. This is an important question. What, 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 do no, you what, co-sign the two-party what, system? What, what, the what, what Republicans actually, versus Democrats what actually, bullshit. What actually is an important system? Um, because it's an important question because most people don't question it. I do. Um, and, I hate and, it. And most people actually can't give you a cogent answer as to why a third party is completely and totally unreasonable. I say no why, parties. No, no, I'll tell you. Well, well, yeah, I got it. But that's not how it works, bro. I know. Um, unfortunately. You, you got two party system. And, uh, and frankly, it's impossible for a third party to exist. And I'll tell you why. Because. In this um, system it is. Because. Um, exactly. And it's even more so now than it was maybe. That's 10, why I 10, like no parties ago. as opposed to three. Yeah, it's not possible, though, man. Because we're, you know, we're. Well, also, trained too, and conditioned wor- to believe dude, we that we live in a world of big data, right? Yeah. The Republicans and the Democrats both collect a bunch of data on voters. It is literally impossible for a third party candidate to go and you hear this in bars all the time. Like some fucking hippie comes up to me and says, Yeah, we need a third party candidate. And I'm like, Yeah, it's not realistic. And they just don't understand in their head that that's not possible. It's never going to happen. 
we are getting more and more mired in a two-party system than we ever have before yeah. because of big data, because of the money. Like, literally, if a big donor goes and gives to a third-party candidate, he's cut off from the apparatus. Yeah, he's not no longer like, like, involved in the other two. People don't know this, but we are more mired in a two-party system, frankly, than we ever have in our fucking lives. And it's not going to change ever. Yeah. You are stuck with Republicans and Democrats. And you know what? Neither one of those parties means a thing. America. They are No, no. The, 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 the ethos or the philosophy of both of those parties is totally dependent upon who the previous presidential candidate was. You had a, um, you know, like you had a Goldwater conservative. Then you had a Reagan conservative. Then you had a Bush conservative. And now you have like a Trump conservative, whatever the fuck that is. Right. Beforehand, you had a, <laughs> which is the exact opposite of the ones yeah, before. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean th- th- then you had a fucking you know, see, but you see Jimmy how... Carter liberal. Then you had like, yeah, Jer- Jer- whenever Kerry was running against Bush, it was like, what do the Democrats stand for? We don't really know. Yeah. Do you know why? Because it doesn't matter what the party platform is. It's whatever the presidential candidate espouses. That's kind of what you believe in. And it, it, they both morph. The yeah. Whole time. They mean nothing. And people change their fucking beliefs based on yeah. what they fucking do. Like, for instance, all those Tea Party guys who are against spending, now they're cool with a border wall like, that we don't fucking need. <laughs> you like, get it. Th- 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 I like this guy. I mean, like... Th- I th- like th- this guy. Th- 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 so, so these are people who believe in three of different... Us. So we got, we got, so two we got opposing me, the ultra conservative. within five years. They believed in two opposing things in five years. People change their ideologies based on what the fucking party says. And they don't, they don't do that. They base it off of what the other guy is doing. I don't want... Whatever that other guy is doing, Bingo. so I am all for whatever this guy is doing. All right, so listen, because we've been talking about this. Yeah. Right. Well, we were talking. I about am. It. I am so right wing, as you know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we love each other, even though we're on opposite. I, no, I, there's yes. no opposite. They're, they're like, opposite. How, how, how right wing are you? He's like you want a, you, you want everybody to have their own and currency? He is and not a Trump supporter. No, I, it's not even no, that. I'm, I'm I'm just a conservative. I'm a yeah, conservative he's conservative. conservative. You, I you know Trump's not a conservative. Right? Yeah, no, he's not. No, no, I'm just uh, my philosophy. Political philosophy. I'm not saying it's Trump or anything. I got it. You're small. Making... You're small government guy. I got it. You're a Reagan right, dude. Right. Right. Individual personal. You're a, you're a Reagan guy. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I got it. Oh, I yeah. Okay. So I can't at? ever find myself voting in a two party system for the other side. What are you talking about? Uh, Pete Buttigieg is totally. Is uh, essentially uh, is more conservative than Trump. Frankly, he, oh, he is absolutely not. And we can go down through the more conservative than Trump. Yeah. He, man. No. No. Well, Trump is governing as a conservative. Prior to his election, I had no idea where he was going to, and I, he was the sixteenth of the sixteen candidates that Whatever I wanted to have I in there. I know about the system is like our economy is the best it's ever been. We're making money. Right I don't now. give a fuck Despite about the economy. Him. I mean, all right. So listen, listen. I'm just talking about a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I look at it like I because take a little bit from everything. I can't. I don't go sign in. I like some from here. I like some from here. I'm not I like, in any party. I really enjoy how you think through things. I don't discuss if what you, you were discuss gonna, and you discuss. If you were going to stick around more than a year, we should have a show. Yeah. Listen, I don't get involved with what you get involved and what yeah. you get involved. I get involved in like the economy is booming right now in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is growing. You're looking really at rapidly. results and like I, whatever's results. working for you. Okay. Whatever's working with me. Um, no, the economy is pretty killer right now. It is yeah. killing. And in Tampa, it's pretty killer. And you know what? There's no bubble right now, so no, there's nothing to burst now for like yeah. and a decade. And and the fact that <laughs> Tampa Bay downtown is growing so rapidly and so yeah, but that's based on local economy. That has nothing it's to local do economy. With... I'm good with that. Like, I don't want to get involved with all the other bullshit. What's that? Because people start being not friends, like on social media. Like it's no, crazy. No, no, no. I'm, I think it's no. more. She's talking about like pres- I presidential. Like, no, look, shit. Look, look, I look, like look. how you guys handle it on social media. Yeah. You both are very yeah. professional, and you're not not friends because of it. Um, well, wait, I wouldn't think of it. I'm not on social media, but uh, do you guys like post about politics on social media? Oh yes, they do. Oh, uh, y'all shouldn't do wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Y'all shouldn't do there that. There was a time. There was a time <laughs> where that's all I did. I'm now, it, like, too, I'm now man. like five no, percent. But I mean, you I'm now do like five percent of what I used to do. I used to be crazy about it. Yeah, I, I'm with you. You shouldn't do that though. It it, it, um, it doesn't move the ball no. forward. It doesn't no. move the the ball from point no, A to point B. Well, it trash. gets your I algorithms get all screwed up. too. I think the problem is too, like you know, like I know somebody that's a freaking Democrat. I'm not nothing. A free, a freaking Democrat. I mean, he's a Democrat. I love him. I love Democrats. I love everybody. I right. love everybody. Okay. But he's just so ugly as one. Right? He, he, he constantly tries to proselytize his No. Hey, he's just very ugly. Here's the deal. Here, here's one thing most people don't actually recognize is um, 
people identify with Republican or Democrat based on totally different things, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they're just words. They're figments of the English language. Yeah. We made them up. And everybody has a different idea of what those two things mean completely. Well, like, I for instance, don't even know what there it are tons means. Of, there, no, no, there, there are tons of people, for instance, who think, I'm pro-life, therefore I'm a Republican. But you know what? They may like um, um, socialized health care or right, something exactly. like that. You have they, to go issue like by issue. What, it's like what issue do they think – Makes them identify. You know what? Half the time, it's your parents. I think, like I was raised this way, but you know what? They're well, really no, not. I'm, I'm the exact opposite. So, I was is, raised in a very liberal household. I, I, I turned I out anybody ugly. here, any anybody in this room, could frankly go and say they're a Republican or a Democrat based on where they stand on a particular issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just depends on where, what team do you happen to go and like feel comfortable saying out in public. Like the that's thing it. is, that, that's not that only the thing. Is like the matter of fact. Anybody is okay with supporting the party that they want to, but it doesn't mean you have to be ugly to each other or hateful. I agree. And people are so hateful right now. If you're a fucking um, Democratic, I hate you. If you're a Republican, I hate you. If you support Trump, I hate you. If can you I, can do I share this, a, I hate you. Let me share a quick... You're a fucking piece of shit. Like, you should not fucking go that route. Well, let me share a, a, qu a quick story. You need to believe in what you want Listen, to. I have a brother... Be okay. I'm, like I told you, I'm conservative. I have a brother that's like to the right of Attila the Hun. I mean, yeah. like he's crazy, right? With who? Now, my brother Gary. And he doesn't listen to the show, so I don't care. Who's Gary? I've never <laughs> seen a picture of Gary. Oh, Jesus. You oh, doing this again? Oh, my Lord. Okay, anyway. He said, my, my, oh, my Lord. Gary. Uh, Gary? When I, when I, I and it's not often anymore, but it used to be more often, debate politics. I do it where I say the one thing. I give my position. Someone says their opposite position. And I know I'm never going to persuade. There's Correct. no persuading. You're not going so to. So I back down, and I'm like, okay, we're friends. Let's love each other. Okay, but my brother goes immediately into you got to be a fucking dick if you believe what you believe in, Nobody? and I had to block my own brother, who who agrees with ninety percent of what I agree with, like seven times from Facebook, because he doesn't know how to just say okay you agree to disagree. He can't back down from it. Now that's part of what you were saying about like the two party system just makes it so polarized, and then you it. You get into that vortex where you go down further and further because well, you get so polarized. Well, well, yeah, it's even worse now. So, 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 so think back in the day when our parents were growing up, right? You had um, NBC, CBS, ABC, and you had your local paper, right? And maybe the Washington Post, New York Times. That's it. Like you had the news. Nowadays, I've got liberal news. I got right wing news. I got black helicopter news. I got fucking basically. We all walk around with our little blinders. I can go find a news outlet that confirms my pre-existing notion of the universe. And so I basically can go and get somebody to go and give me facts and figures to confirm how I believe about the universe. So basically, it's like we're all in a fucking book club with a different fucking book now. Yeah. Because whenever I go and have a conversation with somebody who disagrees with me, they throw out a whole ho a different bar graph than what I got here. <laughs> They are literally just go trying to go prove their point. And they can go find a news outlet to prove their point. We are like more... Like we are more suctioned off now than we ever have been before because we don't read from the same book. I we don't, don't get the same facts. I think we have a real reliable news source. There isn't one. Everybody's with NPR. in cahoots with whatever they are with. You, actually, you, know you, you got to leave the country to get the reliable. Yeah, go to go to BBC. <clears throat> this is crazy. You know, it's like sometimes I'm in my chair and I hear people talking about the most crazy things, and sometimes these things that. Are said are from like, we like people don't news do their own things research. that are they not hear even real news. It becomes indoctrinated to them without checking out on their own. Fifteen minutes will save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. Right, right. <laughs> if you hear it enough, you can repeat it. Yeah, in exactly. Fucking time. Isn't it crazy? It's, but you know what I like say? Everything is this a is disaster. what I say. That's this is my it's defense a because I am not a. I am just very neutral. I'm a neutral person. It's never been done before. And this is what I say. <laughs> If you really give a fuck about it, why don't you go and do something about it? Why don't you go there where they're doing something about it? If your voice is what, like to go be, be heard, a protest, like going to protest for Black Lives Matter, or no, something? no, like what about supporting your community, doing something about that, doing something about things that need to be done? Why yeah, it's all do, gonna be why local. Why don't you start about that, and then you can move on. Don't just talk shit. And blab and send negativity through social media totally. because you're nobody feel likes some a negative Nancy. 
and you're blabbing and you're blabbing, but I never even seen you at a benefit ever. And I go to all of them. You know what I mean? In Tampa Bay, I go to all benefits. Anything that's about children and kids and abuse people, I am there. I have never seen you there. You're not making a movement and you're not making nothing to make anything happen. So, but you're very good in delivering negativity. Why don't you start doing something for your community and move up into things that can make a change to what you think your change should be? I'm with you. You're talking about why? Why do? Why do all these fucks stop at words? Right? Stop like all these people. The all these negativity. people talking about wasting uh, about climate change and all this shit. They're the people that leave the water running while they brush their teeth. Exactly. You know? Like. I leave the water running. While gotcha. gotcha. What? You can't Fuck the environment. I, I run the water. Yeah. I pay for that bitch. You know I run. I, that's how much I don't give a fuck. I turn the shower on and the sink while I'm taking a shit. Blessed. You know yes. what I mean? Fuck that. The shower's got to warm up. Jesus. Fuck the Jesus. environment. <laughs> Before the show. Yes. Hey, so. Uh, I mean, yes. When I, I, I wanted to connect this tonight. And the way I wanted to present it and everything, I wanted to move it forward to Junie. He couldn't stay longer. But he's doing a big movement right now. And it's it's called um, I'm Just Being Me Project. So what he's requesting is people submitting videos of what they were like. When Like, this is my video. Submitting this, videos to where? To him. So he can post it. On because where? he's doing a movement right now that you're just being me. My... My just me me video was like this. Hi, I'm Star Share, and I was abused through religion. And during that time, during the whole time, it made me feel like I was not worth it. Because they do make you feel like you're not worth anything, because anything you do is wrong. So when you're out there and you decide to break through that, you're trying to find yourself again. And you're fighting all these obstacles because you're good, because you were raised in this religion platform that everything is like supposed to be pure and you don't know what's out there. So guess what happens? You have to find out for you learn from yourself and it's an ugly route. That's just an example, right? We gotta My Jenny, this is mine. Right. This is for, mine. For, make it a Everybody, for me. everybody has their own example. Right. And what is Junie sometimes, inviting people to do? Sometimes people were bullied and they were like, Hey, whatever your name is, I was bullied and this is what my life was and this is who I became today. I'm just being me. I chose to be me. And what does he want people to do? Submit. Submit to where? To Junie Blue Eyes on Instagram. Thank you. <laughs> that took a lot. That took, <laughs> that a, took a whole You lot. worked really hard I for tried. that one I saw. <laughs> Submit to Junie Blue Eyes. He's, he's really a... He's really trying in this community, you know, and I wanted to make this all flow to him because I, you know, we are shopping out with Star Share, and I wanted our energies to flow into him, to what he's doing because we were there. We were there, you know. We didn't become who you didn't become Richard Myers firm PA out of the blue. She did it close. No, she got it. No, yeah. well, Myers from PA. Myers from yeah, PA. Well, she, you know, the Myers she, from PA out of the blue. Let, 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 she got it. Let, you know what I mean? But I want to. I want to have to fight. She did the extra credit. But I'm, I just want to. <laughs> I just want to do my own shout out to Jimmy, who came, made a special effort to be here, and it was very warm in here, and he couldn't stay. Okay. So we didn't get around to promoting him. So that's what we're doing now. Yes. Um, but this is a very um, well worth endeavor. Because it, it makes you is. introspective, it makes you a better person, and it makes you want to then contribute. Because you're you're owning yourself. Once you can own yourself, then you can have form legitimate and sub- substantive relations to others. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point, right? So he wants everybody to get to that spot, get to that place. So I don't know when is this promote? Is it this, is this something that's going on? It's for a, it's, a already of time? it's already happening. It's already happening. It's already happening. All right. Follow so, Junie Blue Eyes on Instagram. On Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to put all his information tomorrow on my Facebook. Follow him. If you have a story and you have succeeded something, bullying, whatever it was, you know, that made you be who you are today, submit. He's making a movie right now. 
You see, Junie, he does things out of the kindness of his heart. You saw the tournament. We all went there. All right. We're on a show. What tournament? The basketball tournament that he did for a quarter. Save a Life movie. Tuesdays. Save a Life Tuesdays. Yes. Save a Life Tuesdays. That is so important. And this particular basketball tournament was for whom? For G. Joe. G. Joe. Yeah. A.K.A. Eli. And he's a... Uh, he used to be... He was also... He was in, in the artistic field. You know, he was with him all the time. But he's disabled in what way? He's quadriplegic. Okay. And it's so These so are the type of things that Judy does. We'd like to have him back on the show. I feel kind of... Yes. Weird that he had to leave we early. We're going to do it in a different okay. setting, okay. perhaps. Well, technically, he didn't leave early. He just left on time. <laughs> we <laughs> just started time. an hour we, late. <laughs> we, we may have gotten distracted yeah, a little bit. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, but Junie is doing big things in our community. We got to change the time. Start time. Junie at nine. Blue Eyes. You're doing big things in our community. J U N I B L U E. Are we wrapping up? E Y E S. No. E Y E Z. E Y O Z. My bad. Yes. Yeah. He's doing big things in our community right now. And it's we can see it. We can see your what you're doing. Like I'm here for you, and everybody in the show. Like that's a local. I'm gonna send him a message through Facebook. Now. We're here for you, and anything you ever have and need, we're gonna be there. You know, we were there for your basketball tournament. Although Serge didn't come with his basketball team. What the fuck? Well, you know, hey, what, man, I we would have get right off the court. Come on. We would have. What do you want me to Come do? Come on. We would have scored gonna go at least I'm not going to go to a tournament to lucky lose. basket. We I'm could. not going to a tournament to I lose. I was so happy I pride. to be there because I saw every mover and shaker. If anything, you should have had yeah. your team with a bunch of six foot eight dudes. At least we, you know. My guys were unavailable. Oh, Sorry. okay. Well, then, boom. Yeah, my team would have been to a bunch of just radio personalities <laughs> with absolutely no physical skills. Aside from me, because I played ball. Excuse me. I just want to let you know that I fucking shot my shot and made it. Did you forget? Oh, here, yeah. Did you forget that I shot my shot and made it? You made it. With nails and all. Baller. Okay. Wow. So there's a game that we play on our show. We got to get some food as a group, so let's wrap it up. So we're going to have full high radio fries? We need it. Jesus. Yes. Junie Blue Eyes. Follow him. Save a Life Tuesday. He's doing big things. He had a dip, but he's one of us. So follow him. We have Mr. Um, ben Dover. <laughs> oh my God. That's it. That's what he, so he you really don't have any social media? I don't. Okay. Smart guy. He said his name is Ben Dover. That's what he told me his name was, guys and girls. <laughs> yeah. That's what I just want to say. And I don't know if he did any other stuff out there because he had people like. But we had a lot of Rooting intellectual food tonight, man. It was it was cool. It was cool. You yeah. liked it? Yeah, I did. Thank you for coming on. I uh, loved it. Never done this before. Well, I well, you're a natural. This is my second podcast. Next time you're in Tampa, you have to hit us up. I would love to. Well, not so much me, but maybe Star. But say it in the fucking <laughs> mic. No, dude. Um, he I says it for you too. You can hit me up. Just make what, sure what, it's what, a phone you, call. They're not going to hear you. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me what you said. He said he stopped as soon as <laughs> he heard no, that. No, no, I want you to say it in a real low voice. Yeah, come on. Like this. She say said it. nothing. I hate this. Say it. No, you don't. You love this. <laughs> yeah? You gonna put a finger in my butt? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, that's, that's my Everybody thing. loves a finger in their butt. <laughs> Go on! No, 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 no. no Go no, on, no, I no, told that's you. A, that's literally a coming of age thing. Every guy likes it. They can't talk But they can't that. say it. They're afraid. No, 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 no. Once they get old enough, no. and once they have enough buddies who have done it as well, I to go and confirm this is okay, you don't like a finger in your butt, dude? No, I don't. Yes, not at do. all. He has I not totally tried it. Don't, dude. He doesn't even like to. No, I ask. told. Okay, trust me. okay. You know what? So next week, um, Star will be putting a finger. in No, this she's guy's not going to be and, doing uh, that. It, it'll be two ninety nine. She's totally not for everybody to watch. No. <laughs> if anybody will like for somebody. To oh look! Hey, look so who I nice. found. Swipe <laughs> me right. Hey, should I? Hey, yes. I don't know. Oh, hey, hey, that's another issue too. So I have uh, literally like swiped through everybody in my he territory. He just found and me on Bumble. How did we not match? Uh, I haven't what been on there for a long time. We're gonna match. Uh, 
We're going to match soon. Come on, let's move it. I'm so Bumble hungry. and God Tinder. Damn. This guy really wants a finger in his butt. He, he wants a finger in his butt. Not hey, no, Richard. Yes hey, Richard. <laughs> hey, Richard. <laughs> hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. Would you like a finger? Dude, you will shoot butt? across the room. Who, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, literally, you will break glass. How about Frankie's finger? No, my ex butt? was seriously trying to make which that happen, one? and I was like, nah, I'm good. Frankie, dude, which finger which would you finger use? Which finger you dude, want to get? Just do it, man. You will shoot across <laughs> the room. You, you will like, literally not. You, 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 you had the answer you will right knock, away. You will knock books off the yeah, shelf. Oh, shit. <laughs> you will knock books off the shelf. So, Mr. Ben Over. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to the restaurant. by the way. You yeah. wait. Come on, people. Let's wrap it up. I got to eat. You're, yo, yo, yeah. Are you diabetic? I'm fucking dying here. I'm getting <laughs> you lightheaded. He's for yeah, high fries die, ASAP. No, I'm, I'm a, only at like 500 calories for today. No, he's a crotchety old dude. Not withstanding the fireball. Okay. Hey. What he's not here on this podcast? Follow he's throwing crab apples Star at kids Shear, as they're walking to school. Chopping it up with Starshear. <laughs> Starshear. Frankie Fingers. Flow Higher Radio. What is your Instagram? Because you, your Instagram is pretty complicated. Talking to you. <clears throat> I'm talking like to you. A, what's it like? A bunch of numbers and an underscore and an exclamation point. Hey, follow us. We have some awesome artists coming to the next show. But Richard, do you have anything to say tonight? No such uh, well, I'm gonna miss the audience for Star. The next I have two found weeks. the love of your fucking. The love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, continue, Richard. Continue. Hello, I've just been preempted. Don't let the, dis- like don't let the distraction stop you. Sorry, I'm She's just gonna send me the love I'm of my just life. Sending out to all the hundreds <laughs> of fans. <laughs> the running back through a touchdown. That, I uh, think Simon's magnificent. I will not be returning until we're making an appearance in Miami. Click on him. Uh, As a group. Did, oh, I'm with that. Okay, by cool. the way. This ain't right. you, Ben. Oh, What's wow. That? The dog's cute. This ain't you. That ain't me. Uh, you ben, why are we not right. matching right now? All right, sign out. That's what, Say, goodbye. Out of here? My point Say goodbye. Too many Star, guys. it's your show. I'm being deluded by normal Star, people. Star, pay attention. Get off the... Get off the Tinder. I'm Tindering right now, yes. Because I got dumped Jesus. because of you guys. My name week. is Frankie Fingers, and you can follow me at Frankie Fingers with oh, yeah, two S's on hand. Instagram. Do yeah. not add me as a friend on Facebook. I will not add fucking you ignore you. Thank you. Well, you can add me anywhere because I'm so So, guys, public. if you want three fingers or four. In the butt She's hole. got five. She's got. <laughs> I've got ten, actually. One of them <laughs> not being used. She has ten. But anybody that's watching right now. Serge, why don't you tell them about the festivities for February 14th? Uh, we're going to be at WTR, a.k.a. Water. used to be Hogan's Beach. Uh, there's going to be a singles party going on. Singles party, Come baby. Come on out, hang out with us. Uh, but all you tender guys changes. who are pretending to not be married can yeah, still show up, too. Star, don't be married. Yeah. Star's going to be giving away. Yo. For an hour. Yes, finally. And you get one hour... With me to turn up, there will be a contest, and we'll be having three contestants a week until that date. So who's going to win it? We have... Yeah, you guys are going to have a sword fight in the urinal. Listen, <laughs> Serge, tell them the details. One way to decide that. Details about what? About a contest. Uh, oh, yeah. Any dude that's interested in going to this event on February 14th with Star Shear, hit us up. Uh, what? On your email? What do you want? You can, she will eat your booty like groceries. I'm going to warn you guys. You if you DM like a finger in your booty, her DM name. her. She's going to have, we have nine total contestants. Nine I feel like, I feel like, no, no, no. I feel like stars shouldn't know who they are. No, I think, wow. you know what? That actually is a good idea. Yeah, I feel like it's you pick them. Me. Yeah, it'll be like a glory Fuck hole. It. If anybody wants. You've been picking her like a, you know. Doing right. Wow. Her, yeah. Wow. So I, oh, it has to be through Tinder? I mean, it you could do Tinder, the, Bumble, all Tinder. of them, Facebook, whatever you want to do. If all right, well, if anybody, me, if anybody, in the last month. No, don't worry about it. It's no. not even up to you. It's about. No, 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 it's, it's, it's up, up to you. Frankie no. right now. No. Damn. No, out of your control. It's out of your that's control. Not even cool. That's the beauty. No, that's the best part about it. Yeah. Go ahead, Frankie. If anybody wants to get it in with Star Sheer, hit me up at Frankie Fingers. That's with two S's on Instagram. And okay, let's not get it in send with me Star a, Sheer. Okay, fine. Win a fucking date with Star I Sheer. Do you have know. a hotel room? Get, get wow! Don't even say that. Don't promise them anything. I'm not promising you nothing. Just hit me up at Frankie Fingers with two S's on Instagram. Okay, you I will should go read through a selection all process. the messages you get on Instagram. I will 100 percent read yes. them. Boom. Top nine get two selected. Hour, two hours. Oh, Top later. nine will <laughs> get oh, selected. Gonna to We're gonna have a three week tournament. That's yep. awful. A tender showdown, if you will. I might have yep. to phone in. Yes. Yeah. Why are you? Because you can be always here? tune in and watch, so okay. you can. 
I'm Why are you going to be like? And the winner from each week is going to go up against each other in the finals. The winner of the finals gets to hang out with us. Thanks. February 14th, Valentine's Day. Wait, oh and you know if you play Wait, cards how, right, how do they compete? You might be able to hit that first shift with uh, Star Sheer. I'm not clear on this. How do they compete? Uh, we're gonna figure we're that out. We're just gonna have them come out. First. We'll hang out. Whoever we we're gonna ask questions, and whoever we get the best vibe, like singled out. Yeah, what, 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 what kind of questions? Any questions that we come up with? Like, do I have a say in this at all? You could ask questions too. No. Yeah. Because what they, we're gonna yeah, do is me and Frankie are gonna be like, I like a. And if you're like, I like B, then we're going to be like, well, we overrule you. Do I get to choose you. at all? Well, we overrule you, yes. Yeah, oh, we no. got 60% of the vote. Yeah. Oh my God. The whole point is for us to choose the, the guy for you. you. Yeah, exactly. Like, step uh, forward if you've so ever urinated. So you're going to choose my guy? Yeah. Yes. For Valentine's Typical Day? Stuff. Yeah, for Valentine's yeah, Day. that'd be awesome. Oh, my God. And Good then we get the winner, dumped, from, though. the winner from each week. We go on, and we those dumped. three compete with each other. The because week before Valentine's Day. We're but, in this but we're going to stick with micro penises. Is that okay with you? Yeah, the, yes. The smaller no, the penis, the better. The smaller, the better. Um, yes. yes. If you have a micro penis, do not apply. <laughs> Please apply. Please apply. All of you apply. apply. Do not we apply. We should make this the micro penis championship. But what, but what if he's really good at fisting? Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, a, this, 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 he's yeah, just got like, like this, okay. like magical, she like rock okay. punch. Okay, look at me. Will he do it with latex gloves? However nope. you want, uh, as long as you put it, yo. I'm sure if he's wait, got a penis that small, wait. he's probably adapted. You don't he's not going to have any survival. Input. We will like, choose the fister from for From an evolutionary you. standpoint, he's probably adapted himself I told you well all about Tennessee, survival. by so the way. So he will know what to do. So he'll know what to do. He'll know okay. how to fist you right. All right. I told you about Tennessee, yeah. by the way. I will take that. It's about to be 28 <laughs> to yeah. 6. I mean, going into I mean, this guy will come at you with five You can tell your kids to turn off Facebook Live now. It's too late now. Oh, Lord. My man's average of four and a half yards of carry. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, the Lightning won their 10th in a row. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, by Doesn't the way. Doesn't matter. By uh, the way, Richard. Do that shit in the playoffs. I'm so I'm tired of rejecting my, uh, people. All right. Let's no, eat. you don't reject, don't reject them. them. All right, everybody, meet us at Joe's Diner. Yeah, boom. We're Joe's we're Diner, we're going to have Flow Ohio fries, baby. We're in there. Boom. Bye. Thank you for watching, guys. Follow us on social media. Thank you.